Hello. Okay, next tutorial. This time, I'm dressed up as Jason from Friday the 13th. This is probably the most requested tutorial I've ever had to date because I've had this channel for several years now and I've just never got around to doing it. So I thought I might try and give my own spin on it and see if I can make it a bit more interesting looking. Yeah. But yeah, I'll flash the first few names of the first few people that requested this tutorial. I think we're going back a few years now. So if you guys still have accounts, here are your names. <laughs> and the very, 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 very first person that requested it was this person, right? Here. Yay! So thank you so much everyone for requesting this makeup. If you'd like to learn how to recreate it, stay tuned. So to get this ball rolling, I'm going to pop on a plain latex ball cap and I'm also going to block out both my eyebrows. The ball cap is completely optional, but I do want to do like the full look. So I want to do the mask and I want to do the straps that go back to the head and the sides as well. I just think it'll make the look a bit more interesting. Yeah. I mean, nobody wants to see Jason with blue hair. Kind of do actually. But yeah, so I'll pop links on the screen right here to two tutorials I've done in the past to teach you guys how to block out your eyebrows and block out your hair, just to make this video a bit shorter, as I always say. So yeah, let's go do that. So there we are. So once I've finished applying my ball cap and blocking out my brows, I went over the edge of my ball cap with a few layers of liquid latex just to really blend the edge off into my skin. I also went around my ears as well because I want that to be part of the look. Now I'm going to switch over to a voiceover because I'm going to be covering my mouth. Now you don't have to cover your mouth, I'm only doing it because because it's going to be a mask and I'm going to have a line already where the skin is going to be showing and the strap's going to go across, I think having lips would ruin the illusion of the edge. So I'm going to cover my mouth for this step. But for you guys, it's completely optional. So yeah, I'm going to take a sponge and some liquid latex and I'm going to go over my mouth and just slightly up my cheek just so I've got enough edges to blend off. And I'm going to switch over to a voiceover now. So you're only going to need like one to two coats initially because it's just a base for the masking tape, which is the next step. So once it's all dry, you can take the masking tape in small little strips, working in horizontal, then vertical, then horizontal patterns, maybe about five to six strips, just to get rid of the lip shape and really flatten out the mouth. You can then take some more liquid latex and a sponge and dab that over the top of that for about two layers. Once you've done that, you can take some regular tissue paper, which you've separated in two, just so you've got thinner strips, because it's a lot easier to work with that. And you can press that down over a wet layer of liquid latex and then saturate that tissue. Now, if you do that for around six coats, maybe seven, just until the air is completely flat, you should have the illusion that you've got no mouth. So then when that's all dry, I took an OCC lip line. Now it doesn't really matter which pencil you use, it's just something I can use to map out the shape that I want for the initial mask. And I just mapped out the edge around my face. Then I took a line white watercolor by Superstar and I painted the inside of my face. Then because I want this to look more rustic looking than clean, I don't want it to be a block white, I'm gonna take a Superstar line black watercolor and I'm gonna do that around the edge of the mask. Then I can take a kind of like a kabuki brush, but it's like on a long handle. It's by Sigma. These things are amazing. And I can just wet that ever so slightly and that will allow me to manipulate the black around the edge of my face. So the idea is to dab it, but moving towards the center of the face so I get a nice gradient towards the middle. Then I can take the OCC lip liner again and just mark on the shapes that I want for the straps on the side of the face and the middle of the head. Then I can take some more of the black watercolour and colour in the straps. Then, rather than paint on the little bolts that he has on the straps, I'm going to use something to make it a little bit more three-dimensional, and I'm going to use some clock parts, which I just happen to have lying around. <laughs> but um, these are just like round discs, like metallic discs, one on each of the straps, so three in total. And I'm going to stick them down with some Pro Stick. Then, taking the OCC lip liner again, and I'm just going to remove the lid for that, I'm going to use the lid to just dip into the black watercolour and that way I can press it on in the places that I want for the holes in the hockey mask. This way I know I'll get a perfect circle each time and it'll be fairly uniform. So you don't want to use too much water for this, you just want to make sure there's enough water in there so it leaves a mark, but you do not want it to run. Then I can take the black watercolour again and I can just colour in each of those holes. Then taking a super, super, super sharp angle brush just to get like a really nice edge and a number 40 colour by Superstar, which is a bright red, I can start mapping on the triangle shapes that are on the forehead and the cheeks. Mm. 
And then I can take the black watercolour again and start colouring in around my eyes in a really nice circle shape. I don't want it to be oval or anything like that, or even angled. I just want it to be a completely round shape because it needs to be kind of like void of emotion. I don't want it to look angry or anything like that. Then I can just copy that on the other eye. And then just to blend my eyes in completely, I took a MAC fluid line in black track and I used that to colour in the waterline both on the top and bottom of my eyes. Then to colour in the ball cap of my ears and my neck, I'm going to take a 018 colour from Superstar, which is like a nice off peach colour. And I'm going to use that just to dab in random places, not in a block colour, just because I want it to be really broken up and like bruised looking. So I'm just going to dab that in random areas all over my ball cap, ears and neck. Then I can do exactly the same again with the 040 red colour. And then finally, I can do exactly the same again with a brand new colour I think Superstar just came out with. It's this beautiful purple. Actually, it's my favourite colour, actually, this one. And this is their Imperial Purple. So this will just add the really nice bruising element to the makeup. This step, again, is completely optional. I just like doing it whenever it's a rustic makeup. I took some black coloured hairspray and I sprayed it at arm's distance in a halo shape around my head. Just so it kind of gave a gradient, like a grey gradient from the back of my head to the front. Then, taking a Graftobian Magic Blood Powder, I love this stuff, it's awesome. But I only use a tiny little bit of it, because a little bit of this goes a very long way. The idea is you dab a big fluffy brush into the powder, then you spackle it on your face. You won't see anything just yet, because then you need to take a water spray, and spray it from a distance in the direction you want the splatter to go. So once you do that, you'll be left with a blood splatter effect. I just think it adds a bit more character to the look. <laughs> then, taking the black water colour again, I'm going to go around the edge of my mask, and then blend the colour backwards just to make it look like a little shadow it's not gonna be more than about a centimeter of color so then i just need to pop in my contact lenses pop on my costume and i think i'm done and there we go so that's the look complete so as always i finished the look off by popping in two scalera contact lenses these are just blackout lenses which i got from scaleraxl.com i'll pop that link in the description bar below the costume is just a generic zombie costume which i got from buycostumes.com i'll also put that in the description bar below as well and of course i finished the look as well with a giant machete obviously not a real one well yeah <laughs> just like i have one of them lying around but yeah, I got this one from buycostumes.com as well. And I just decorated it with some spray fake blood just to make it look a bit more gory. So yeah, that's my Jason makeup. I know it's a super simple design, but I wanted to make it a little bit more complex with the ball cap and the straps and everything. So I hope you like my version. So yeah, that's my Jason tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like it, please make sure to, you know, the usual rate, comment, subscribe and all that jazz because it's so, so, so super helps me out. So yeah, until the next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.